All right, so here's the uh, three inch clean out here on the left side of the guest house structure. This is uh, kind of halfway between our entry door there and our water heater shed at the left side here. Looks like it's just below what would be our bathroom window. And this is a newer pipe here. And we're going to basically just drop in and run across the backyard behind the front left corner. Now these modern plastic piping materials, they're a pipe that are ex expected to have a very long service life. Uh, they have a very smooth inner surface which allows for very high washout capability and the uh, plastic pipes are also intended to be impervious to root intrusions. Now as here as we push through the line where there's some low points uh, several low points that are holding anywhere from a half inch to an inch of water in areas. Really, more of this line is holding water than is actually draining. This is about an inch of water here. So basically what this means is this pipes run kind of like a roller coaster. It comes down and has to come back up and then it runs down again. This is something we find a lot when you've got a garage conversion or a guest house structure that's built um, later than the main house and it's a, an on-grade structure or a slab foundation, whereas the main house is a raised foundation. The elevations of the pipes just don't line up in order to run the standard quarter inch of fall per linear foot of pipe runs required for drain systems. And as we continue through, you're going to see debris build up along the sides of the walls of the pipe, uh, up quite a bit higher than the actual water line that we're seeing now. That's because there was a lot of debris build up, like baby wipes or paper towels or shop bags or something in there that when we pushed the camera through the first time, it did knock some of that debris loose and rain out. That's kind of what happens in this case. You see here we've got some debris along the side wall of the pipe, more along the top of the pipe there. That debris builds up in the line, doesn't wash out on the uh, lower volumes of water being pushed through and then the pipe starts to fill with water. It builds up and kind of catches and then eventually it gets enough pressure built up behind it and it'll kind of get pushed out. Here's a good example of that debris along the top of the pipe. You can see that this line was just about full of water because of the debris built up that was in there currently uh, prior to our putting the camera down the first time. So that is the potential for this line, and the concern is that debris can build up and cause blockages. So this is just not the proper application for this situation. Really what would be needed in this case is a sewage ejection system. That would be the uh, proper application for this type of structure and the elevations we're seeing. I don't see any way further out into the line where you could run it further to get the proper fall. The elevation changes just aren't going to be enough. So that's what one is going to run into here if they're going to be using this structure and there's a much increased potential for uh, debris buildup to cause blockages. Right here, about 114 feet, this is where we're dropping into that primary line that we've already looked at. So, um, with that, uh, that's everything we need to see today, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination, and I'll be issuing a written report which will describe our final findings. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.